Hey guys, this is me, Mr. Fuzzy HD, and welcome back to Yogcraft. Now, if you think uh, my voice is a bit weird, yeah, I've got a bit of a cold. Not the greatest um, thing to have uh, for recording, especially, but yeah, that's that. Um, I've got a cold, but I'm gonna go forward and keep recording um, and hopefully entertain you guys. So, today I'm gonna come up to this to do list and have a look at what we've got. Now, then, we've got the Sort Out Wisp Cave. I think we're close to um, sorting that because I've got this armor now, so it should sort of protect me a bit from so I can kill all the wisps and stuff but that won't um, really solve it permanently that would just solve it temporarily so we'll have to work on that somehow I've also got the old trees we um, we haven't really got too many crossbred leaves yet but uh, we'll go check them out soon we've got the old bee breeds we're not really getting anywhere on that because we're focusing on trees at the moment we've got the auto chicken egg farm now I'm sort of working on the auto chicken to the auto milk farm um, basically auto milk is gonna be a bit harder than ch um, eggs just because milks are in buckets, you have to extract the buckets and all that palaver. So I'm I'm working on that. I'll go show you that in a second. Uh, we've also got a tractor. That's going to be quite fun to do. I want to do that soon. We've also got an orchard. We haven't really got many trees to or put put in an orchard yet. So we'll work on that um, with the old tree breeds. And lastly, but uh, last but not least, uh, we've got the twilight forest. Now I want to do that pretty soon. But firstly, I need to know how to power my power armor because I don't know what to store power in um that I, I need to get some power from these redstone energy conduits um <coughs> pardon me uh, sorry not en uh, energy conduits um energy cells and i want to put it into something i can charge my armor with because as you can see i can't really put my armor in anything here so i don't really know what to use um i've looked at like mfes and stuff but i don't know how to transfer the energy so if any of you guys have any ideas be sure to leave in the comments because that will help so much um and yeah hopefully we can go forth on that now I'm going to come over here and show you what I've done with the auto milk farm. Now you can see a crystal, a crystal chest here. This is what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to store all the milk in this crystal chest. Now it's quite big, which is good. Um, and this is what I've got. So uh, don't worry about all the fencing. That's just to keep the cow in, as you can see. <coughs> well, my voice is really bad. But um, so what we've got here is a timer powering some uh, red alloy wire uh, going all the way along these machines. We've got a deployer here. And this deployer, when it has buckets sent to it, it will deploy a bucket onto the cow. Is it? I swear I just saw a cow escape then. Hmm. Anyway, as I was saying, um, the bucket will deploy a bucket onto the cow, which will, as you do normally, when you click um, a bucket on a cow, you'll get some milk. And then that milk will get extracted by this filter, uh, which is similar. Whoa, oh, that's damage. Um, got a bit scared there. Now we've got a filter. This is near enough the same as a transposer, except for only transposes uh, specific items so I've got milk here and that'll be extracting the milk out of here and then that will put it into a deployer now this is the bit that doesn't work because I wanted this deployer to put it into this tank I've got here but that was my, me doing it manually uh, for some reason it wouldn't work um, I couldn't deploy any buckets into this tank which is a bit annoying but then I've got um, to carry it on I've got a filter taking out all the empty buckets and putting it into here so, yeah, that's a bit weird. Um, I don't really know what to do with this, but I was thinking I'll just store all the buckets that I get, all the buckets of milk I get here, and put it in the crystal chest. Um, thing is, it will take up a lot of iron. Um, I didn't think about that. That's a bit of a bummer. So, um, yeah, that's basically what I'm going to do to um, get milk, and it will get a lot of milk. I just need to know how to store it, basically. I want to store it as a liquid, um, so I can keep reusing the buckets, and yeah. <coughs> keep coughing that's a really annoying right so I don't really know what to do uh, about that but I think I'm just gonna work on something so we're gonna have to take down our spawner and go kill some uh, cows <coughs> Wow right so let's gather this XP we've got level 50 Wow that's a good that's a good <laughs> uh, I have to take a break from this talking actually my voice is really like going um, anyway let's go in and take this spawn down Nom, 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 nom. And we're going to get the soul cage and the cow shard, the five cow shard. And we're going to have to kill some cows now. Lots of uh, meat we're going to get from this. Actually, if I use my bow, um, I can get some um, cooked meat. That'd be nice. Very nice. Okay, so now we've got cooked meat. And I don't have to worry about getting any more food, which is great. And let's go hoover all up. Oh, die. Okay, so let's go get all this food, and from that we've already got eight leather and thirty-one steak. Mm. Actually, John, you know I'm gonna I'm gonna eat some of that steak. I am a farmer. I eat my produce, so there we go. 
So then, um, what I wanted to do is put um, transposers, or no, deployers, um, around uh, so that these cows will well, get deployed um, buckets so I can get some milk. So I don't know where I should put these deployers. Maybe on this side? I'll just put it along the edge maybe. Um, every, every two or something. Every one or something um, like that. And maybe get some deployers, um, hook them up, and hopefully it should be okay. Uh, maybe I should put it on the other side as well. Yeah, maybe that'll be good. We're gonna make some holes on the other side, like so. There. Whoa. Oh, the, the arrow just fell. And one there as well. Okay, so now we've got a few holes for the deployers, and hopefully our cows will produce some milk, and we can just put them all in the bucket. So I'm gonna quickly work on this, and I'll be back with you guys in a second. Hopefully, when my voice is recovered, I'm slowly losing it. And um, when, hopefully, I get some milk. Yeah, so I'll be back in a second. Okay, so we're back. And I think uh, my voice has got better. <laughs> and also, I think I've got everything I need. So I think I'm going to just place down everything now. I'm going to put a deployer there, a deployer there, and a deployer there. And I need to twist these round a bit. So like that, like that, and like that with my lovely screwdriver. Got a new, new and improved screwdriver now. Could do with a sonic screwdriver, actually. That's quite cool. Um, so we'll do the same here. And that's all good. I put this uh, red alloy because it's going to need to be um, hit by a redstone current. Um, and then I'm going to put a filter around the back, like that. I'm actually going to pick, quickly pick that one up and put it down the same as all the others, like that. Um, and before you say um, you're going to need a lot of buckets, ma uh, luckily I have got a lot of buckets. Now in this crystal chest I've used up near enough all my iron to make buckets just for this, this uh, process. So at least we're getting somewhere. Now I'm going to need to switch these around like that, very nice, and then the same for these, like that, this, that's going to be really awkward being there. Now then, we're going to need some pneumatic tube, and all the pneumatic tube is going to have to go into um, the, the uh, what's it called, the crystal chest. So I'm going to do the same around here, and luckily I've got a lot of this stuff, like that, okay. So now everything's going to have to be hooked up with the redstone signal, which is going to be a bit awkward. Um, I'm going to get rid of this, like that, um, and I'm also going to get rid of this one, like that. So now we just have to make a little bridge, like so, and it looks good. Now I think I might um, quickly paint, if I've got any paint brushes that would be lovely, because I would like to paint one of the pipes so that it all goes to that specific pipe. Um, so let's see, do we have any paint brushes? We don't. Let's see how to make a paint brush. Paint brush, we want one of these ones, not the uh, other ones, these random ones. <coughs> so we want um, maybe just, I don't know, any colour. Yellow, actually we've got green, so maybe green. Uh, how do we make green paint? We need a paint can and some flat seed, flax seeds, um, tin plates. Oh wow, that's really, exp uh, uh, what's it called? The uh, It's very complicated. So we're going to need to make these anyway, so let's go make some tin plates. So to make tin plates, we're going to need iron and tin. Let's see if we've got any iron left. Hopefully we do. Um, we've got five iron. Fantastic. We're gonna need some tin as well, and we're gonna go to alloy furnace that I've been using a lot to make this uh, red alloy um, stuff, this red alloy wire. And we've still got a bit of coal in, which is great. And now we're gonna smelt it up. So let's let that smelt over and see what else we're gonna need. So we're gonna need um, some flax seeds. Let's go check if we've got any flax seeds, because I'm not sure if we do. Now I know flax. Um, you can grow flax seeds. To make um, string, which is interesting. Uh, oh, we've got 36, great. We've also got 12 buckets in there. How did I not notice that? Massive idiot I am. Right, let's go see how our tin's getting on to make the tin plates. We're going to need quite a lot of tin plates, um, so let's see how it's going. Oh, it makes eight, fantastic. Okay, so let's go make uh, a little paint can. Oh, it makes three paint cans as well. And uh, we're going to need some dye now. Um, we could probably take that out as well. That used up a lot of my iron, actually. Four. Blimey. Right, let's go get some dye. This power suit's really effective, actually. Like, really helps me. Um, let's put the bars back. Oh, like that. And let's go get some dye. Hmm. Should we get a yellow one? Yeah, let's just get a, ye get a yellow one. That's nice. Okay, so we'll do that. And we'll put the flowers back. We'll combine these. Nope. We need flax seeds. Um, so let's put the flax seeds like that. We'll make two cans, two paint cans like that and we get two yellow paint cans and then to make a simple paintbrush where's the yellow one we need a stick and a piece of wool lovely so let's get a piece of wool uh, actually I've got an orange piece of wool there. oh well 
Uh, we also need a stick. So let's see if we've got any sticks. Yes, we do. I love having loads of materials. It's so good, so helpful in this um, time. Oh, did it just get really dark outside or is it me? So let's make a yellow paintbrush. Mm. Uh, let's grab this paint can and put it in our mist chest upstairs. Misk and Randy's. <laughs> oh my god, it has a durability. I did not know that. Well, there we go. <laughs> now we know. Um, let's go back and paint this thingy quickly. And so basically, I'm just going to paint this one yellow so that all the filters I'm going to indicate to go to the yellow. So let's see, where is he? Oh, oh, I've just gone past it. Let's see if I can get back to it. Okay, there it is. Uh, and we're just going to turn all these to yellow like that. Okay. And the next three, like that, and this one, and the last one. Very nice. Oh, no, that's not right. There we go. And now we're going to want this red alloy wire again, and we're going to want to bring it round, um, all the way round here. Oops. Actually, I could probably just use, because I've got two timers, just in case I thought um, I'd get two. So actually, I'll do that and um, quickly connect it up. So a timer there and we'll do it I don't know um, 500 that'll do that's pretty quick enough yeah that's fine right so let's do the same with this one so let's get rid of the middle pipes I've nearly just been launched oh no my filter no come back let's quickly get the filter do that like so and that's fine so we're gonna have to turn that back to yellow again and get the wiring the wiring like that, uh, bring it like that, and that's gonna. We we'll have to get rid of this thing, unfortunately. Gonna get another timer and put that to the same. So, 500, like that, and that's not actually ticking anything. We have to turn this round. Oh, is that no? Why is this not working? Wait a second. We we'll have to place this down again. No. Oh, there we go. Hmm. Doesn't want to work for some reason. Is that not working? It only does one side, what the hell? Um, that's a bit interesting. I don't know why, but there we go. So let's just quickly uh, connect up the rest of the pipes. Okay, so that's very weird. I don't know why it doesn't do... Oh! That'd be why. Okay, so welcome back guys. After two crashes, I've managed to finally get back in the game. Very annoying, but uh, that's how it goes. Now, these uh, timers happen to be a bit bugged out. Whenever I'm on this side, they seem to flash. Whenever I'm on this side, they flash. Doesn't want to flash this time. Oh, there we go. Now it's flashing. Um, so yeah, it's a bit bugged, but these things still work, which is great. So um, all I'm going to want to do now is fill them up with buckets, um, like this uh, I'm just gonna put I don't know quickly go inside the pen and put like I don't know a stack in each or now and see how we can get on I guess so let's just do what I'm doing now uh, we're gonna need two more stacks okay that's cool uh, we we'll get another two stacks like so and hopefully we'll be able to get some milk out of this I hope after all this uh, madness we should be able to do something oh oh dear wait what they've deployed them Where are my buckets? Um. Why why have they deployed them? Oh. Have I just lost all that? Oh god. Where have they got? Oh wait. No. Um. Oh yeah, they have put them here. Okay. Um. Well, we're gonna need one bucket in each of these anyway. That's a bit weird. Um. Okay, well, let's just put a bucket in each of these, and hopefully... Wait, no, 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 I want the milk bucket in them. Okay, so we're going to want a bucket of milk, so let's find a cow and get a bu bucket of milk off, milk off him. So, they're, they're all good. Um, let's get a quick bucket of milk, or a few, at least. Um, let me get up. Uh, come on, no, this, this, uh, these boots don't... Oh, there we go, I'm up. So let's just get, I don't know, a few buckets off this guy so yeah that's, that should be enough um, and then we're gonna put these in the filter so hopefully they only take out milk buckets this time like that 
let's do the same for all these um, like that like that and like that and now I think it's, it's time to put the cows in um, so yeah let's do it um, wait no we haven't put the buckets in <laughs> that's that's one thing we might want to do so let's go put all them in now <coughs> So if I put the buckets of milk in, they should take them out. Yeah, there we go. <coughs> right, so let's put all the rest of the stacks in, like so. There we go, there we go, and there we go. Perfect, perfect amount. Um, I swear I had more stacks, but oh well. Um, now, I think it's time, to, yeah, to put the cows in. So let's see, what can we do? We can put the soul cage in, like so. In the middle, like there. And then we'll put the soul shard in. And there's the cows. Now they should be uh, giving us some milk. So let's have a look and see if we get anything. Um, here we go. Oh my goodness. Whoa, whoa, my god. Um, <laughs> I think we've got a lot of milk. Jesus, look at all this milk. All the cows are spawning and giving me good milk. Oh my god. Um, how are our de deployers doing? They they've run out of buckets already. Okay, so we've got over 48. Um, buckets of milk it looks oh my yeah this is why we need a crystal chest um, it's basically just gonna keep overflowing we're gonna need to do the same with eggs except for eggs can stack in like 16 so that's amazing um, but there we go we've got a lot of milk now uh, whenever we want a bucket of milk we can just come here grab one and then um, put it back in uh, this chest and every now and then we can just restock all the deployers and everything will be great uh, now all the deployers oh that one's still got a few so we will be able to still get a few more buckets, but for now I think we've done pretty good. Nearly filled up a full chest of crystal, crystalness. <laughs> um, so yeah, there we go. That's the episode. Um, I think we can go tick off this auto milk farm because we've done that now. Auto milk farm, you're done. I think next episode we'll work on the auto chicken egg farm. Um, and if we don't do that, it'll be because we are getting ready for the twilight forest by powering up my power armor. So all I need is you guys to give me some feedback um, to tell me whether um, I'll be able to power up my power uh, armor um, by using the power I've got um, that I'm getting at least from um, these engines and stuff I just want to take it from in here into another machine that I can power my armor with so if anyone knows please um, either inbox me comment um, uh, all that jazz and hopefully I'll be able to see it and uh, we'll include it in my next episode so thanks for watching guys I've been Mr. Foz HD don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit like, hit like if you want to enjoy if you want to enjoy if you um if you want to see any more and um like if you enjoyed this episode i've been mr foz hd have a nice day and i'll see you guys next time i'm gonna quickly grab this xp goodbye that noise level 54